Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Happy Friday to all you guys. Tonight we are not doing a weekly recap like usual, but instead we're ripping open some packages that were sent in over the last week or so. And this is going to be the final mail day, so I will no longer be accepting packages of any kind from anyone. Um, but I will be sending out responses to everything here. And also tonight, if you watched the um, jampacks.net subscription box opening last night, I said we were going to give away the contents of that box to somebody tonight, including the Eckersley 4 out of 5 autograph. So stick around, and we're going to um, raffle that box off tonight at some point during the video. So let's waste no more time and get to ripping and see what we got here. All right, first things first, we'll start off small with the plain envelope here. And this is going to be from Scott at Reindeer Studios. And Scott has very nice handwriting, by the way, too. He's a very, very talented artist and also has a YouTube channel, Reindeer Studios. Just put out a recent video of a charcoal portrait of um, Danny McBride aka Kenny Powers from the legendary show Eastbound and Down. Love that show so much. Very talented guy and also very talented as far as editing goes too. His videos are very professional and remarkable overall. So if you're not subbed to him, please check out Reindeer Studios. It's a Christmas card here. It looks like it's homemade. Pitchers and catchers report in 47 days. That is pretty awesome, man. And make sure there's no address inside of here. It's a Dave Parker rookie card. 1974 tops. That's pretty crazy. I actually have this card sitting next to me right now. I actually picked that up last weekend at the Honey Hole. That is pretty freaking awesome, man. I did not have this one until last weekend. Dave Parker. Freaking awesome. Scott, thanks so much, man. Let's see what the card says. In the meantime, happy holidays. Hey, John, it's been fun getting to know you. I just wanted to thank you for keeping the past alive and your support. Have a plunk-free Christmas. Your friend Scott from Reindeer Studios. This card is awesome, man. I really like this. Thanks so much, Scott. I was actually talking to Scott recently on Instagram, and he gave me a heads up on a, a card shop that just opened in Ohio. I think it's like Turtle Play Sports Cards or something along those lines that uh, I want to go out and check out sometime soon, maybe uh, in, in the early spring. I'll get a chance to come out there and hopefully meet up with you, Scott. Thank you so much, man. That was a, that's an awesome, awesome card. I like how the Santa's hat, the ball in the end, is actually baseball. <laughs> that is sick. Really appreciate that, man. Like I said before, let me know if you if uh, certain things that you collect, Scott, because I'd like to send you something in return, man. So off to a great start on this mail day, the final mail day, and we have a package here from a name I'm not real familiar with, Brentwood Sports and Collectibles, based out of California. I don't recognize the name. This is something that I bought on eBay, but I don't think it was. doesn't appear to be there's a little uh care package here and a note that says john love the channel just a holiday hookup for you enjoy matt that is really cool man looks like we might have a christmas card in here slash this open and it says seasons, seasons greetings tis a season for sharing good times with family and friends and for making the kind of memories to treasure without end matt very, very nice of you, man. Thank you so much. I'll put that in the background. The other ones, we have one from Chad Hopkins, one Reindeer Studios, and now from Matt. Very cool. Let's check out and see what we have in this uh, little baggie here. Looks like there's some cards in there. And also a business card for Brentwood Sports and Collectibles. Pretty awesome. Oh, this is really cool too. The YouTube Card Community Bracelet. That's freaking awesome. Thanks a lot, man. Put that on right now, man. Very cool of you. And here's Brent's business card. Matt Hans, or Hans, not sure how you really pronounce that. Brentwood Sports and Collectibles on eBay, Instagram, and also on YouTube. Specializing in sports card supplies, action figures, toys, video games, Star Wars, VHS tapes, The Walking Dead, and other pop culture items. That is freaking awesome. Right up my alley. Um... Very cool stuff. I'll definitely uh, give you a sub on YouTube and also on Instagram as well and check you out. Thanks so much. And really appreciate that. And also, <laughs> Chris Save the 89 Fleer card, second year. Seen a lot of that card in my life. And Chris Save a 93 Tops Gold, one I don't think I've seen lately. And the 90 World Series card from 
tops. I'm not even sure what yours is from. 2014. <laughs> That's one I've definitely have never seen before. I like that one. And a Josh Hamilton rookie card. That's pretty awesome. And we have the Generation Extreme. I actually bought a box of these at Hokey G's. Um, I don't know, a few months ago. I was so intrigued by them because there are like a few pro skateboarders and like Willie Santos is in there and a couple other ones as well. I ripped a few packs of them and pulled them out. We definitely have to rip that open. And then this one too is one that I'm not familiar with. Extreme Alter Alternative Sports. I feel like these have got to be somewhat newer. 2000. Let's check these out and see if we can pull any big name pros out of here. This is going to be rollerblading, probably like snowboarding. I don't really know uh, motocross and BMX guys that well other than big names. Kind of some stickiness here. I'm not going to rip those apart, but Kevin Robinson looks like a BMXer. Whoa, we have an autograph in here. How cool is that? How freaking cool is that? I didn't even know you could pull autos out of here. Kevin Robinson, he had a car that was bricked up over here, and we have his auto in here. And it's not st uh, stuck or anything. That's freaking awesome. Not sure what the odds of pulling one of those are, but we'll check it out here in a second. This Rage Graffiti Certified Authentic Autograph card was personally signed by Kevin Robinson. Whoa, that's pretty freaking awesome. Like I said, I don't really know much about him, but uh, still always cool to pull an autograph, in my eyes at least. Especially because I can't imagine it being like that easy to do out of these packs. Let's see what it says here. Um, where's the autos at? I don't even see, I don't see odds for autos on here anywhere. I just see notes, some autograph cards may need to be redeemed. Redemption expires 11-15-01. I don't see any kind of uh, auto odds. That's pretty freaking awesome. Matt, thanks so much, man. I was not expecting that at all. This looks to be like some sort of like foil insert card. Kevin Gillian. Rollerblader. And a Josh Petty. No skateboarders in there, but still, what are the chances of that? I, I'd like to know. I'm going to have to go online and look at uh, odds for that. That's pretty freaking cool. Kevin Robinson. Let me know down below in the comments if you know who that is. It's a BMXer if uh, he was a big name or not because it's not one that I recognize. Very cool package there. We still have one little packed open. Generation Extreme cards. I don't think you can pull autos out of here. So we found a Willie Santos, Chet Thomas. In um, the few packs that I opened, surfing. Can't tell if these are stuck together or not. It's tough to tell. And didn't find any uh, pro skateboarders in there, but still cool, anyways, nonetheless. These are relatively older cards, too, from the, like, the mid 90s, I want to say 94. So, very awesome. Thanks so much, Matt. I really appreciate that. I'll definitely be checking you out on Instagram and also giving you a sub on YouTube and please everybody else check them out also very cool stuff let me move on to the next one here this is gonna be from our buddy Mike M Mike M I want to say this is Mike 5481 on YouTube Mike's all around great guy always seeing the streams very friendly dude Let's cut this open See what we have here from Mike. Give a note. Check that out first. My shipping address. We will not include that on the camera. I'm glad you sent me your address so I can get you something in return. It says, John, you may know me as Mike5481. There we go. I've sent you a nice package with some nice rookie cards you may not already had. Plus, I sent you some other great cards. There will be a separate letter with a return address if you'd like to send anything back. Well, I definitely will, man. I collect rookie cards primarily. If you know, or if you have any good rookies you'd like to send, I would gladly accept. Keep the great work, Mike. Thank you very much, man. I will definitely be sending you some stuff back. I, I primarily collect rookie cards, so I definitely have a lot of them and a lot of doubles. Let's see what we have inside of the bag. 
is this. A Doc Gooden MLB debut. I have one of these. Um, the MLB debut de medallion from 2016 Series 1 Tops. That is freaking awesome. I want to say somebody sent me a Starling Marte, one of these, like, in one of the first uh, mail days that I did. Um, that is pretty freaking awesome. April 7th, 1984. I like that one a lot. Mike, thanks a lot. Shelly Aitani. Um, looks like there's a several cards. Of course, we have Greg Swindell and Naughty Don Russ in the background. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to focus on these cards now with that in the back. Let me pop these out of here. This is a Shoyo Tony I didn't have either um, from Leaf. I don't know if I've ever even seen that card. A Bernard Gilkey. Can't escape him. Eric Plunk. I had a feeling that was coming up. And another Eric Plunk. <laughs> Those are hideous. Swindell. And Nick Castellanos rookie card. I definitely didn't have that one. That's a cool one. Very nice of you to send those. And also the, <laughs> the Swindell Naughty Don Russ. Oh, there's a bunch of them in here. we got to check these out. 89, 89 Don Russ, 91 for deck, and 90 Fleer. Oh, what a dream of a pack right there. Another show you a Tawny Leaf on top here, a different one. I think these are rookie cards, I'm pretty sure. Here from 2018. Another one. How many cards did he have in this set? Holy crap. Yeah, they're definitely from 2018. Still pretty cool, though. Um, three of them, three different ones. There might be more than that. Jose Aline, 88 Tops rookie card. I used to love that card as a kid. That was probably my favorite card when I first got into collecting just because of how hyped I was on Jose Aline the first few years I was in the hobby. Chris Sabo, 90 Tops. Uh, this is one I've never seen before. <laughs> the post serial card from 91. And he looks absolutely bitter in that one. That is freaking awesome. <laughs> I like that one a lot. There's a Jeter. Uh, I forget what year these were. The like, Tops Mini. Um, looks like the 2013. That's pretty cool. And Don Mattingly with the 89 Tops design. Also from, what, this is from 2014, I think. These are cool, though. And an A-Rod here from, what, 08 Tops, I believe? Never seen that one before. National Baseball Card Day, too. That's really cool. Starling Castro rookie card. That's one I didn't have either. And a Ramel Tapia. 87 Tops design. 2017 Tops. Garrett Cooper, um, Topps Holiday card. Didn't have that one. Eric Surkamp, uh, gold, I think. Looks like a gold. Yeah, it definitely is. It's numbered out of 2012. That's pretty cool. Boing Ho Park, rookie card from several years ago. And the Acuna from Topps Holiday. That is a very nice one. Really nice. Thank you so much, Mike. Very awesome card. I love that one. I actually picked this one up at a card shop like maybe two months ago for I think like five bucks. We got a bunch of Acuna rookie cards. The owner just like, yeah, take them for five bucks a piece. So maybe we'll give the one that I bought before away and I'll keep this one. Very awesome card. Thanks so much, Mike. And we have a Bowman Sterling. Um, who's that? Ryan Healy from 2014. It's an auto. Very nice. Vladdy Guerrero Jr. rookie card. I don't think I had this one either. And then Xander Bogart's rookie card. What a great package. Mike, you definitely hooked it up, man. No doubt about it. I don't think I, other than the um, the Acuna, I, don't, I didn't have any rookie cards in there, so you definitely knocked out of the park. <laughs> and seeing all those Swindells and Plunks is <laughs> pretty, pretty funny, too. I'll definitely be getting you something in return, man. If there's any specific rookie cards you're looking for, shoot me an email and let me know. Like I said, I have a lot of doubles and whatnot, so I'd be happy to send you um, some rookies that you're after. So keep an eye out for a package from me, and I, I appreciate all your support, Mike. Thank you very much. Move into, move into the next one here. This is going to be from our buddy Chris. Let's use a different card here. Let's use one of these new ones we got instead of... Mr. Tim Salmon. Our buddy Chris, who is pretty close to us, actually, also known as CLG Custom Frames. Some of you guys may recognize that user handle. He's in the live stream sometimes. Here and there. And this thing is 
packed full of stuff. Some old Flintstone plushies. I don't think I've ever seen those before. I used to love Flintstones when I was a kid. Hey, let's check the note out first. Pull this other stuff out of here before I toss it. Wrap her off to the side. And I can't wait to see what is in there. I talked to Chris uh, pretty frequently on Facebook Messenger, so very cool guy. Hey, John, I finally remembered to get, you, get a few things shipped out to you. Hopefully, they'll find a good spot in your collection. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thanks for keeping the past alive. Your friend, Chris, CLG46 underscore custom frames. If you want to check out his YouTube and give him a sub, very cool dude. Thank you very much, Chris, for that note. And these Fred and Barney plushies. Never seen these before. Um, I have no idea the origins or what year they're from, but those are pretty awesome. Like I said, I used to be a huge Flintstones fan. I think all of us probably were when we were kids. So those are pretty freaking cool. And we have a bunch of stuff packed into here. Let me pull it aside. <laughs> this is sweet. Camel 75th anniversary playing cards from 1988. I want to say he sent me a picture of those, like, I don't know, a month or so ago on Messenger. I was like, those are sweet, man. <laughs> Thanks so much, Chris. And what do we have here? We have we got some books, some pretty iconic movies that are made into books. Last Crusade, and obviously the original Batman with Jack Nicholson and Michael Keaton. Never seen those before, the paperbacks. Pretty freaking awesome collectibles. Thank you so much, Chris. Like those a lot. So check those out at some point here. I love both those movies. Whoa, this is awesome, man. A Kmart shirt. Look at that. Wow. I was actually looking at a Kmart shirt on eBay recently. It was a vintage one from like probably the 70s or 80s. And I was so pissed because I ended up losing out on it. I messaged a guy and asked him like the uh, measurements, how long the shirt was, because I don't always trust those XLs that I see on there. Sometimes I get them and they're like, they literally are like the length of a medium. So I messaged him and like by the time he responded back to me, uh, it was already sold. I was so angry. It was the original logo and stuff, but shopping is fun again. This shirt is freaking awesome, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to wear this all the time. Kmart, I don't like what it, what it turned into, but uh, we had one that was like five minutes away from our house when we were younger, and we used to go there all the time and buy baseball cards. All the time. It was, uh, it was a great place at one point. Definitely miss it. So that is freaking awesome. I would definitely wear the hell out of that shirt. And another one here, too. It looks like it's a different color. A blue parallel of the Kmart shirt. This one's a little different. What do you call a fish with no eye? <laughs> That's great. I have no idea where you got these at, Chris, but they are awesome. I don't know if these are newer. They look like they're, um, they look like they're vintage based on the tag. These are pretty freaking awesome, man. I don't even know if I want to wear these now or just like put them in a t-shirt frame. Wow, Chris. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. And then he, he told me he had these. These are awesome, too. If you guys remember James Way, the old department store James Way. It's been out of business for quite some time now. Um, I forget where Chris said he got these at. From his work, maybe? But these are actual bags from the store. I don't really have any James Way stuff. I don't know if I ever actually went into a James Way. We had one. The closest one that I know we had was like Evansburg. Evansburg's like, I don't know, an hour away from us. But we'd always drive by it on the way to my grandma's house like years and years ago. And I always wanted to stop in there because I knew they had toys. And I can't remember if I ever went in there or not. But still, I still love it nonetheless. If I went in there or not, I still uh, treasure the memory of the old department stores like Ames Hills, James Way. All those good ones we used to love when we were kids. So that is awesome. I love collecting stuff like that from retail stores that are no longer with us. So really awesome stuff. Chris, thank you so much. Camel playing cards. Those are so sick. Very awesome. Please let me know, even in Facebook Messenger, uh, what you're collecting currently. And uh, I'll get something out to you, man. Because this is very awesome, dude. This next one we're going to rip open is from our buddy Carlos. Carlos Garza Jr., a.k.a. Chuck Chicago on YouTube. I blade here. I actually talked to Carlos via email. He sent me an email and asked me if I'd be interested 
in um, receiving these. And I told him definitely because I don't have them. So I'm already aware of what's going to be in here. But I don't know if I've ever seen them, honestly, in person. So still be a nice surprise nonetheless. And there is a tiny note in here. Let's check out what Carlos said. Or Chuck G, I guess he goes by. John, hope these two laser discs find a nice home in your Ghostbusters collection. Very awesome. So yes, they are laser discs. Package very nice, Chuck. Throw this off to the side. And these are two that I never really see. I don't really ever, ever even come across laser discs. But we have the original, original film here, and these are cool plastic uh, sleeves too. Um, the original and legendary Ghostbusters on laser disc. This is freaking awesome. I love it. I always wanted to get a laser disc player like in the '90s. My dad like was against it from what I remember, because I think he knew DVD players were gonna be coming out, and um, it would be outdated technology. And then Ghostbusters 2, laser disc. Not such a fan favorite with the uh, the true diehard fans, but I still enjoy it because it's the originals. Um, I prefer the first one over the second one, but still, I, I still Ghostbusters to me, so I still like it nonetheless. Very awesome. Chuck, thanks so much. I know we talked about um, what you'd like me to send you in return, and I'll have something out to you. Now that I have your address, I'll have something out to you um, early next week sometime, Chuck. So thanks again, man. This will definitely fit very nicely in the Ghostbusters collection. This is from our good buddy, Jay Hadley. As some of you guys may know, I know some people trade with him, but I talk to Jay Hadley pretty frequently and he's an awesome guy. And he sent some pretty awesome stuff before, too. We send each other stuff back and forth in return. Try to send him stuff that he, I know he doesn't have or think he doesn't have, I should say. And he sends me a bunch of cool rookies, and usually I don't have any of them. So I'm eager to see what's in here. Jay said that I was being blown away by this. <laughs> so I can only imagine. It's a binder. All right, we have a binder here. What could possibly be in there? I don't know if there's a note in here or not. Oh, we have some singles too. Some rookies, it looks like. I don't know if Jay put a note in here. I don't see one. If I overlooked it, I apologize, but I don't see one in there. The singles, I guess we'll check these out first. Save the binder for last. And then we'll, we're gonna give away the Jam Packs uh, package here after this one. So we have some rookie cards here, and some that I already off the bat can tell you I don't have. Chris Carter. From several years ago. Josh Tomlin. Oh, Strasburg rookie card. Holy crap, man. I did not have this one. I have actually was looking on eBay a few days ago to try to pick one up. Very awesome, man. Love that card. Very, very nice. Jay. <laughs> wow. Xander Bogart's rookie card. Aaron Hicks. Some Definitely some nice ones in here. No doubt about it. Jay always hooks it up. Another nice one there. Hopefully you guys can see these good. I feel like the lighting in here is like kind of dim tonight. Wilson Ramos. Kenley Jansen, Adam Greenberg, Jay to Rizzi, another one I didn't have either. I don't think I've had any of these, honestly. Dylan Bundy and Tony Singrani. Very nice stack of cards there. Holy crap, still blown away by Strasburg. Thank you so much, Jay. I sent your package out today, so you should have it, I think, hopefully by Monday. And I put a lot of stuff in there, and I'm hoping that you don't have. The one thing I know you're going to like, because uh, you said so, a few days ago, so um, you'll have to let me know your feedback on, on that when you get it. And here is the plain binder. I Quick glimpse, I saw some rookies in there. Jay said I was being blown away by this, and it looks like I'm going to be because I see nothing but rookie cards. Wow. Let's uh, adjust this camera here. Right off the bat, looks like 
a bunch of Wally Joiners, 87 Tops, Don Russ, and Fleer, his rookie cards, and a couple of Will Clarks, and Niger Morgan, and a Hiroki Karuda, a Karoda, Terry Steinbach rookie cards. This is, wow, an entire collection of rookies. Holy crap, man, you were not kidding. Rafael Palmeira rookies, John Kruk. There's like two of each one of them. This is amazing. Ruben Sierra, David Cohn. Some Jane Moyers. There's a Drebeck rookie card. I always liked that one when I was a kid because we were big Buckos fans and Drebeck fans and Bobby Bow as well. We have Mark Grace rookie card down the bottom right, 88 Fleer. His 88 Don Ross rookie. Two Bobby Bow rookie cards. And Kevin Brown, of course. These are all in really good condition too. And here's one we saw last night, the Kevin Eddie rookie card. Matt Williams, Greg Jeffries. Oh, those were in demand back then. Ellis Burks, also another hot one back then, too. So it looks like we have all the Kennedy rookie cards and then two Matt Williams rookies. These are nothing but rookies in here. This is freaking awesome. Ron Gant, those were a pretty big deal back then, too. And also Billy Ripken rookie card, his first Fleer card. All, all his rookies actually score in Don Russ. Very awesome. And also the Glavins. This is freaking awesome, man. Jose Leaned, his 88 Fleer and Don Ross. Used to love that card, too. Lance Johnson, Al Leiter, Edgar Martinez. Very nice card there. There's a Walt Weiss, rookie Jay Buhner, Alomar. We actually pulled out of a pack last night. Love that card. Sosa rookie cards, Sheffield rookies, and Dante Bichette. These are all in great condition, too. A lot of times you see these Junk Wax era cards and... Uh, corners were all beat up so like every Sosa rookie imaginable on here and also with the Smoltz pretty much every one of his rookies besides the 88 Fleer traded very awesome stuff this is amazing I <laughs> had Chris Sabo nice 89 score and his Topps Gold Cup and Don Russ and Fleer somebody sent me that earlier <laughs> that is great Jim Abbott Sandy Almar those were a huge deal back in the early 90s and 89. A few more Alomar second year cards. Biggio rookies. Schilling in the middle there. Joe Girardi rookie card. Actually two of his rookies. Omar Vizquel rookie card from 89 score traded. Steve Avery's rookie. 89 tops. Always like that one. Some Larry Walker rookie cards. And then Juan Gonzalez. The regular corrected version of the reverse negative. And Greg Vaughn. Another big prospect back then. And also the same thing with Ben McDonald. Hopefully you guys can see this already. I love going back and seeing these cards, even though like those cards are worth nothing now. It still takes me back to when I was a kid, when those cards were just the absolute craze of the era. So I still enjoy seeing them regardless. Albert Bell, a few of his first year cards and his rookie card from 89 score traded. Todd Zeal's 90 tops, 90 Don Russ. I, ha I had that when I was a kid. I want to say I pulled out a pack and just thought I was the coolest kid in the neighborhood because I had it. Dave Justice rookie card from 90 Fleer. And some Bernie Williams rookies. Deion Sanders. I had that one when I was a kid too. And it was a decently um, valuable card back then. Another Deion Sanders, 90 Don Russ. Tina Martinez, 90 Bowman, 90 score. And also Kevin Moss. Another big craze. All rude. Moises Alou. Luis Gonzalez. I don't know if I had any Luis Gonzalez. Or this Luis Gonzalez rookie card actually. Um, I know I have his other ones. Scott Erickson. 91 Fleer. Henry Rodriguez and some 92 Stadium Club here. Mike Busina and Kenny Lofton. Second year cards. Those are all second year cards for all three of them. And then we have some other rookies here. Uh, not familiar with these cards. Jake Arietta. Those are some nice ones. And this one looks like it's a chrome refractor. I don't know if I had these base cards or not. Uh, Jay might have sent one a week or two ago. I can't remember. But definitely did not have the refractor. That is a very nice one. Oh, that's Fukudome. I didn't even realize that. Huh, that's pretty awesome. So two Fukudome rookie cards from 2008. Upper deck. Doesn't say his name anywhere on the card. It's kind of weird how it's his rookie card. Pretty awesome, though. I didn't have those ones. There's a Mike Stanton. Somewhat early in his career, I want to say. I think so. Starring Castro. Another Steven Strasburg rookie card. That is freaking awesome. Mitch Moreland, Ike Davis, 
Jonathan LaCroix? Wow. Jay. This, you are not kidding, man. Logan Morrison. Mike Minor. Lorenzo Kane Didn't have that one either. John Jay. A Cespedes rookie card. An Arenado rookie. Or Prism. That is awesome. Jose Fernandez. No longer with us, but uh, didn't have that one either. Rest in peace to him. Hanjin. Aditi Gregorius. Wow, there's there are some nice ones in here, man. Adam Eaton. The Rosenthal. I had that one. I had the Shelly Miller because I got those out of those boxes that I bought for five bucks recently. I didn't have the Skaggs, I don't think. Or the Jackie Bradley or Chris Davis. Jerks and Profar had that one, but still always nice to have doubles of rookies. There's some nice ones on there. Tanaka, Abreu. Wow, this is crazy. Marcus Simeon. Tanner Rourke, Jose Ramirez. Ozzy Albies, Harrison Bader. Wow, it just keeps building up. This is freaking awesome. Walker Bueller, Victor Robles. I actually pulled that card out of a Fairfield box. It's probably the best card that I've ever pulled out of a Fairfield box, honestly. A Devers rookie card, Miguel Andujar. Wow, there is some very nice stuff in here. Jay, I don't even know what to say, man. Nick Senzel, I don't think I had any of his rookies at all. And look at this Vladdy. 84 tops design. That is a freaking nice one. Never even seen that card before. Wow. Yeah, I definitely didn't have any Senzel rookie cards at all. Very nice. Carter Kaboom. And his gold label cards, very nice. Didn't have any Kaboom cards, cards at all whatsoever. Justice Sheffield. I have a couple of his, but nothing on this page. And I see Jake Bowers on the bottom there. Three of his rookie cards. Jeff McNeil, I actually just got that out of a box the other day. And then Keston's, a few of his rookie cards as well. Wow, a bunch of Jeff McNeils. I've never even seen a few of these. I never saw that one or the Stadium Club. Very, very cool. Kikuchi, some of his rookies here in the middle. Bo Pichette, that's awesome. I didn't have any of his. Kevin Biggio, I want to say I bought, I, I don't know. I don't have the rookie debut card. I think I might have bought that over at a flea market last weekend, maybe. But didn't have any of his cards at all until then. Loriano, rookie card. Didn't have any Bo Bichette's cards. This is amazing, man. And his Topps Chrome rookie debut as well. Mike Yastrzemski actually bought that at the same flea market last weekend. Ponce de Leon. There is a lot of awesome stuff. Wow. <laughs> Jay, you aren't kidding, man. I, I am blown away by this. I don't even know what to say. Very, very nice of you. Um, I don't have 99% of this of the, the rookies in this binder. So amazing, amazing stuff. Thank you. Many, many thanks to you, Jay. And... Um, Please let me know what you think whenever you get the, the package of mine. I'd like to send you something else after I open that <laughs> because I'm blown away by it. But, uh, yeah, let me know, and I'd like to send you something else, too, as well, and um, try to help out your collection, too. Before our last package, we're going to get down to business here, and that business is going to be giving away the contents of the jampacks.net box we opened last night, including the Eckersley 4 out of 5 autograph. So that's going to be done via random comment generator here for the video itself. All you gotta do is comment on yesterday's video. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought about the Jim Packs box. So we're gonna do it this way, and we're gonna get the YouTube comments. We have 45 unique commenters. And good luck to you all. And thank you for giving me your feedback. Mike, 5041. It says, great video, John. What are the chances of that? We just got a package from him tonight. Mike, congratulations. You won the contents of the Jam Pack box. Send me an email. And um, actually, you know what? I have your shipping info. I think I do. Yep. Let's, I, can, uh, I still got your package here. So I will send out the contents of this to you next week sometime, man. Congratulations on your new Eckersley autograph. That is pretty awesome. The last box here. The last box is somebody that I was talking to on Instagram. 
by the name of Jeremy. We were actually talking toys and cards alike. Let me find another uh, good one to cover this up. But Jeremy Winch, and he is from Montana. Let's rip this open. This looks pretty awesome. I see a Stay Puff Marshmallow Man in there. It's the original one from Kenner. That is, I don't have this one. Jeremy, thanks so much, man. I do not have this one. Wow, I gotta rip this open. This is freaking awesome. This is an original from Kenner, 1986 release. Very awesome. And it looks pretty good too, for how old it is. All these old toys that are in play with condition. Um, given the uh, given that these this, there's only a, a few scuffs on here too. That is freaking awesome. I love that. Jeremy, thanks so much, man. I'm gonna put that off to the side. And we'll check out what else we have in here. Everything is wrapped up really good. I think I can just tell by the shape of this, this is gonna be an Ecto-2. I know it. I know my RGB stuff. It is. It's an Ecto-2 vehicle. How many of you guys remember this from your childhoods? I, I had this when I was younger too, and I used to love it. I have one new in the box, but I do not have one loose like this. Jeremy, thank you, man. He knows I love the RGB stuff. I'm gonna pull this box off to the side, see what else we have in here. Wow. And we have a puzzle as well, but I can't tell what it is. All right, let's see what this is. We got some VHS tapes. New Kids on the Block. <laughs> Holy crap. New Kids on the Block VHS and a cassette tape. That thing's wrapped up really well. Great job shipping this, Jeremy. A cassette tape, Personal Feelings. Hasbro released this. That's pretty crazy. This is part of some sort of uh, plushy doll figures or something like that, 1990. That's pretty interesting. And look at the bad boys here, hanging tough. <laughs> Where are they hanging tough at? 1989. The original New Kids on the Block and Step by Step. That is pretty crazy. I definitely check those out. I love watching uh, older VHS tapes from the 80s. Love seeing the advertisements on there and whatnot before the videos. It's really cool. It looks like we have a Slimer horn in here. This was a McDonald's Happy Meal release in the late 80s this is pretty awesome i want to say that i have this in the package because i have the whole set but i don't have one loose <laughs> very awesome stuff i'm not sure where you found this stuff at jerry but uh very cool i don't ever come across real ghostbusters stuff like anywhere i'm gonna put it in the background next to stay puff and the ecto 2. love rgb stuff man very cool i, I have no idea this like we have some baseball cards in here and uh, some more baseball cards. Looks like a Henderson 82 tops in here on top. So a couple 82s. I don't know why I thought it was 70s at first. Couldn't see through the uh, bubble wrap. But Henderson 82 tops. I see an Eddie Murray rookie card right behind that. That is nice. Usually that card is horribly off center whenever I see it. This one is not too bad at all. Love that card. Henderson is pristine too. It's off center, but the corners are pretty damn sharp on that one. I don't think I had the Henderson either. Very nice. Love the Eddie Murray, of course. Definitely a rookie card that you need in your PC if you don't have it. Very awesome. And Ripken, 82 tops rookie card. Love that one as well. Very nice. That one's sharp too. And then Lee Smith, 82 Tops rookie card in a one touch. Beautiful stuff. Jeremy, I don't even know what to say, man. Thank you so much. Wow. Very, very nice. Great stack of cards there. I'm overwhelmed right now. We have another stack here. I guess we'll do the puzzle first. And it looks like it's a Motu puzzle. One 
one that I've never seen before because I don't recognize the box art. Puzzles were pretty popular back in the 80s. Very, very cool. There's old Skeletor. This is awesome. Ben Franklin sticker on there. That is cool. This is 25 cents at one point. That is a steal. For any of you Masters of the Universe fans out there. Very cool. 63 piece puzzle. That is awesome. I've never seen that one before. Thanks so much, Jeremy. Very, very cool. I have a couple of those. I don't have that one, though. I have a bunch of RGB ones, too. They made so many of those puzzles back in the 80s, early 90s. A bunch of 2018 tops, maybe? Let me fix this. Look at all those cool trinkets in the background. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff, beautiful cards, Christmas cards, everything. You guys are awesome. Let's check these out and see what we have. Kelly Jansen, reliever of the, award, uh, reliever of the year award to Chris Bryant's highlights. I'm not going to read all these off, but I don't have very many newer cards besides like the, f the few packs that I buy here and there, so I always like going through these. Nolan Arenado, Dexter Fowler. Is it cool? Yelich. A lot of stars in here already. Maltuve. Team card for the Boston Red Sox. Suarez, Cueto. Boston B-Boys. Gene Segura. The cool Paul Goldschmidt. Josh Donaldson, Buster Posey. Dozier. guys and cities all right Brett Gardner big stack of cards here Jeremy all in nice shape too so Bellinger league leaders Severino league leaders Davis Dale Murphy the Brewers Cranky so Judge, League Leaders, McCutcheon. Still got a, another big stack to go through. So Jackie Bradley, we actually saw his rookie tonight, and along with Strasburg, still blown away over that. Syndergaard, Dansby Swanson, it's like his second year card, I want to say. She pulled his rookie out of a pack not too long ago. Jay Bruce. And Gary Sanchez. And Chris Sale. Another Strasburg. Polanco. Kershaw. To Daniel Norris. Whit Merrifield and Zichiro. I still not used to see him in a Marlins jersey. Always used to see him with the uh, Mariners. Looks weird to me. JD Davis rookie card. Chris Bryant McCutcheon again opening day card. Tanaka. Cespedes. Lewitsky, Miggy Cabrera, one of my favorite players. Like that card, I didn't have that one either. Altuve, John Carlo, another Nolan, Joey Votto, Springer in the World Series, Manny, Nelly Cruz. Ben Attendee. Shy Sox. And we have a Rendon on top of this last stack here. Another Chris Sale. Mookie. Another Ben Attendee. Another McCutcheon. Some repeats. Nationals team card. A lot of stars. Future Hall of Famers in here. 
very nice stack of cards here as well. Joey Gallo. Byron Buxton. Very cool stuff. Jeffrey, thanks so much, man. You killed it. Please uh, let me know what I can get back out to you, what you're collecting currently. I'd like to get you a package out sometime early next week. Amazing mail day. I haven't done one in a while. And then, like I said before, this is the last one we're going to do on this channel. So no longer accepting mail. But I want to thank you guys all from the bottom of my heart. Really appreciate everything you sent over the last few months. And I hope that you enjoyed all the stuff that I sent in return. So that's all I have for you tonight. Maybe I'll be back with a weekend recap. Not real sure yet. Or maybe we'll have the uh, Team NT video tomorrow night. So hopefully I'll see you guys sometime soon. If I don't for some reason, Merry Christmas to you guys. You're the best. Have a great weekend.